Hi everyone, welcome to another Dino mostly weekly update. Sorry for missing the last two weeks. Dino 140 was released last week with the Temporal API. Temporal is a new date API for JavaScript that's now stage three in TC39, which, is mean, which means that it's being implemented in various JavaScript runtimes, in particular in V8, which is how we are able to bring this to you. Temporal API is still unstable and be behind the unstable temporal flag, but you can try it out now. I mentioned a couple of weeks ago that there was ongoing work to provide native windowing to WebGPU. This has been released as an unstable feature in 140. The key function is called dino.unsafe window surface. This API allows you to integrate native GUI windows with the Dino event loop and WebGPU. And Civi has created an Apple Music client as an example of this, which has WebGPU accelerated UI and is using the Dino SDL2 library. 140 included a lot of deprecations with a somewhat scary warning saying that these functions would be removed in Dino 2. Despite the scary warning, I want to assure you that we will be very careful when removing functions. If it's not possible to remove APIs without essentially zero breakage across Dino users, then we will push back the removal. Uh, in fact, we've change these warnings in the subsequent patch releases uh, just to make it seem sound less uh, less onerous. The diagnostic output for Dino Lint, Dino Check, and Dino Doc-Lint was improved also in 140, and uh, it looks quite attractive. Uh, you can expect this uniform style of diagnostics throughout Dino in the future. One more thing, JSR waitlist is up. What is JSR? I won't say yet, but you can click the link here if you're curious. <laughs>